to an epic journey to the land of the Christmas story with our partners at National Geographic. James Longman went in search of the hidden Jerusalem, hoping to get a peek at what it looked like during the time of Jesus. The Holy Land, where the Christmas story is set and where religious and cultural sites sit in powerful testament to human civilization. But go below ground. So down we go, I guess. And the journey through history continues. Andrew Lawler is an author and National Geographic explorer who took me on a tour of underground Jerusalem. People have lived here for more than 5,000 years. So what we see here right now is just the, the top of Jerusalem's history, just the very, very recent past. The first wonder, 2,000-year-old Step Street, where Dr. Joe Uziel is supervising an extraordinary excavation. Tons of this sacred earth being sifted for clues. This is how we get the dirt out as we excavate. This like is the coins. sandbag coming up here. Yeah, so. Uh, so what's in there could be important. You've got to sift through it. We've got to sift through it and maybe find some of those coins, which are really, really important because those coins basically are our best way of dating what we're excavating. So Jesus could have walked these streets. Oh, well, that's a good question. Either Jesus walked these streets or he walked and saw the construction of this street. The City of David Foundation, which is funding all this, hopes to open this remarkable walkway to the public soon. But in a city defined by claims to land, it's controversial work. Palestinians say their homes above are being damaged by Israeli diggers and that the Jewish community wants to push them out of the area, something the foundation refutes. Elsewhere, their underground work is also shining new light on world-famous sites like the Western Wall. That's the Western Wall. This is the Western Wall. That's the Western Wall. And eventually this will be part of the tourist paths of the Western Wall tunnels. Right now, we're still working here. This is one of the world's most famous sites. Which you've discovered keeps going and going and going underground. Yes, and uh, these stones, as opposed to the stones outside that you, can, that you saw before, these haven't seen light in about 1,700 years. They haven't seen light in 1,700 years. That's right. Years. Across the city, another discovery. Between the potato chips and cookies in this grocer's shop, a portal through time. I feel like a proper archaeologist. Oh, my God. Saleh Hebawi's grandfather discovered this huge 1,300-year-old crusader hall right under his store, almost by accident. Next door, a famous neighbor. The Holy Sepulchre is behind that wall. Over there. The place Christians believe Jesus died, was buried, and rose again just behind that wall. That's incredible. Yeah. One of the most important places in the whole of Jerusalem. There are many places like this beneath uh, the private homes in the old city of Jerusalem. Uh, and a lot of people don't like to talk about it because they would rather keep it quiet, what is uh, in their basement. But not Miriam Siebenberg. She and her husband have been digging beneath their old city home for years. At the time of Pontius Pilate, Maccabee Palace became the Praetorium, where Jesus was judged. Okay. So Jesus was judged here or here or wow. here. So these or stones could have seen Jesus oh, yes, definitely. being judged by definitely. Pontius Pilate. Yes. Piece by piece, history's holiest secrets slowly coming to light. I'm James Longman, ABC News, Jerusalem. And you can read more about Jerusalem in the time of Jesus in the December issue of National Geographic magazine on stands now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.